So, if they're out for more than three days, then they have to have a doctor's note. <clears throat> what if it's a headache? A headache that lasts for three days. True, true. Come on, I need you to focus, okay? All right, my okay. bad, my bad. All right, if a person has a death in the family, then they need to provide a proof of relationship. So we doing DNA tests now? Mark. My man, lighten up a bit, okay? I know all of this stuff already. You know what? So, so why do you have me over here wasting my time with you? Because this looks good on your part for boss lady over there. Trust me on this. Why are you trying to make me look good? Because I'm aware of what happened here. You've been with the company for a minute, but you know retail usually hires from within when you know someone. Or when you're fucking them. Right. I'm happy that I got the position, and it's obvious that you deserve the position, so I'm gonna look out for you. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, uh, don't mention it, man. Mm, well. We gotta <laughs> look out for each other around here. Mm. So, what made you apply for this position? I was HR manager for a, a much smaller company. More hours, less pay, but I decided I needed a change. And as much as I miss my coworkers, I need to step my shit up. I definitely feel you on that. That's where I'm at right now. And I uh, also just broke up with my girlfriend. Mm. She was too stagnant in life, you know? You just, you can't level up with people that don't want more. Definitely feel you on that. And you just broke it up like that? I mean, we were together for about two years and there were other factors in it, but nah. she always had her head in the clouds trying to be social media famous. Nah. And like, what kind of life we supposed to build off flat belly tea? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get it. People are starting businesses left and right, but yeah. you know, I'm not with that millennial wave. Right. I'm more old fashioned. You sound like me right about now. I had a conversation with my boyfriend not too long ago about the same thing. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a boyfriend. Is there a problem with that? Bro, relax, okay? Be cool, I'm cool, continue. Oh, okay, because I was about to say, I'm about to set it off up in here. <laughs> okay. Straight bow, okay? All right, savage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I just, I just want us to be on the same page, you know? He does music, which is, it's cool and everything. I just don't see any longevity in that, you know? I would be alarmed too. Honestly, I didn't even think it'd be as big of a thing as it is right now, but it's definitely looking like we need to have that big conversation. Look, man, falling in love, that's the easy part. It's everything else after that. That's where the real work comes in. But you'll be okay. Thanks. Now, please, mm -hmm. back to you telling me all this shit I already know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> all right, so you gotta go here if you need to use the bathroom or if you need the fire escape. Don't use the elevator. Whoa, 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 what's up, Bean? Please stop fucking calling me that. <laughs> I've been so busy in the office, I ain't had time to catch up with you. How you been? I've been busy with school and minding my business. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> we should, you know, go out and meet up or have a drink Nigga, or some shit. No. How you just gonna show up out of the blue after attacking me and stealing my shit, talking about some less hangout? Wait, hold up. Now, I know I acted up and did some unforgivable shit to you, but don't play cute. We did shit to each other. You're no angel in this, Bean. I told you to stop fucking calling me And that. I said I'm not. You out here probably telling everybody how I'm the big bad wolf and shit. You know there's two sides to every story. Remember that. Don't do that. You fucked up, and I don't want nothing else to do with you. Oh. <laughs> so you just gonna walk around here and act like I don't exist? That's what you think you gonna do? Isn't that what you did when you walked out of here with my shit? <laughs> Bye, nigga. What you waiting on?
need is this hookup app. You create a profile, and then when you log on, it tells you exactly how close another person is that has the app too. You, know, you can send messages back and forth, text, look at pictures, and you know, hook up. It's like gay GPS. What have I done? What am I doing here? It's so familiar. I try to wrap my head around everything that's going on. Yeah. I mean, because you got people coming all up in here, you don't even know if I'm ready. Why do I need to check if you're ready? Because, I mean, I don't know who it is. Who cares? Wait till I'm over this fucking... See you. I live with my grandmother now. Let me tell you how that happened. I was staying with my father. He got remarried. Me and that bitch don't get along. My grandmother, she's real heavy in the church, but she a bit of a hypocrite too because she curses me out just as much as I curse out. Grandma! What? That's Nigel. We don't let that nigga in. Who gives a fuck? I'm not your door, man. See, she still likes me. She don't even know what fucking year it is. What can I do for you? Look, I just came to spend time with you and Khalil. Nigel, Khalil is asleep, and Deidre don't need no QT time. Oh. Is that what I think it is? I don't know what you're talking about. Nigga, stop playing with me. <laughs> Is that your mother's salt fish and bake? Maybe. Give me that. Oh. Yo. Wipe that smile off your face. This is not us making up. Calm with the smiles. You're welcome. Damn, it's been so long. Yo. How's your mother, by the way? She all right. She stay asking about you and Khalil. Yeah. You told her how you abandoned us? I did, you man. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I just wanted to... You wanted to what? You wanted to fuck other bitches because you thought you were stuck with me being a family man? It sounds dumb as fuck when you say it out loud. It is dumb as fuck. Nigel, you left me with a whole baby. How you expect me to feel right now? You should hate me. I do. Look, I just want to make it up to you and Kuro. Look, <clears throat> we could work out some kind of co-parenting thing as long as you keep bringing me this damn bake. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit is amazing. Damn. Look, I can do that. All right. What's your name? Ant. Ant? That's what you want? You don't want to come up with uh, a name that's more imaginative since it's your first time? No. Turn the light on him a little more? Alright, so Ant, you've been here before, but this will be your first time doing something with another person on camera, right? Yeah. Now, we know you're straight, but for the right amount of money, you've agreed to see how far you can go with another guy. Yes. You have a great body. Do you work out every day? Not every day. I ran track and I was the captain of the football team in high school. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Look at those arms. May I? Okay. Thoughts about being with another man? No. So, what makes you want to try? Spencer, this shit is cute. It is. I don't know if I can still fit it, though. Hey! Mm. Hey. Oh, that's Alex? Yeah.
<laughs> you must be Jaden's sister. I think I've seen you on the gram. Yeah, I am, but I'm not here to chop it up with you. I'm just helping him move. Oh, well, do you guys need any help? Um, nope. I'm almost done, and I'll be all out of your hair. I like those. I think I can fit those. Don't tell Jane I fit those. Uh, you know, you don't have to go, Spencer. <laughs> Actually, I do have to go, because I'm not really feeling the vibe around here, and I feel like it's only a matter of time before you do to me what you did to Ian, so... Okay, first of all, pump your brakes because you wasn't even there. I know what I saw. <laughs> well, everything ain't always what it seems. I mean, you've known Ian for how long? And Orlando's only been here for like, what, two seconds? And you're already taking his side over Ian? Funny you say that, being that you chose Jaden over our friendship. Well, the way you reacted let me know there wasn't much of a friendship to begin with. <laughs> About. Okay, are y'all done? Because my man's coming home anyways. Oh, uh-uh. Spencer, get your shit. I don't like that nigga. We got to go. Let's go. Your man is bad news. Jaden told me all about him. So, you have fun with that, hon. Shit. Well, well, well. What's up, Deidre? Long time no see. I should rock your motherfucking jaw right now. But you know what? I ain't gonna disrespect this man's nasty ass apartment. Now move the hell out of my way so we can leave. Spencer, we need to get the hell up out of here. Let's go. It's about to get real. No, nigga! You know I don't like his punk ass. You have fun with that. Clown. Yo, what's the problem? What's going on in here? What's up? How exactly did you and Jaden break up? Well, you probably hear some shit, huh? Not in detail. Everything at the beginning, when me and Jaden was good, after a while, shit went downhill. To pretty much sum it up, it was just bad chemistry. That was it. Okay, that's a common thing. But from what I'm hearing, you're bad news. So what part did you play in it? I mean, when I started dating though, I had a hard time committing. And when me and him dated, like, I played him and I played myself when I should have just been straightforward. Oh, that. Yes, that. I just, it just wasn't me. Like, I loved him and he got that. He just couldn't understand that I like to share my love. But I think you get that though. Um, I don't, but I'm open to it. Alex, are you sure? I don't want to keep going through this if you're not comfortable. Yes, I am. I am. Let's just, it's going to take time. Let's figure it out. You sure? Yes. We'll just take it slow. We'll figure this out. All right. But friends and exes are off limits. Orlando, I'm not playing. I cannot handle that. Do that. Listen, listen. I'm not playing. I'm serious. Listen, you don't have to worry about nothing between me and Jane, okay? Okay. Just 
For the moment, babe, even for a lifetime.